My name is Shinji Kono, a sophomore in college. The time is past midnight. The date has just changed. There is a reason why I went out of my way to change my outfit at such an hour. Let's go to celebrate the new year! Let's make this year a good one! Yes, that's right. Today is January 1st. I am going to celebrate the new year with my friend. I am just following him because he invited me. Surprisingly, there are not many people here. I chose a place that wasn't too crowded. I don't want to be covered by the crowds at the beginning of the new year. Well, it doesn't matter where a person like me, who doesn't have much faith, pays a visit to the shrine for the first time. It won't bring any benefits to me. Speaking of which... Hmm? What are you going to do after this? Oh, of course. I'm going to spend some time at home with Hibari. It's the new year. What's wrong, Shinji? No, it's just... Right. This guy had a live-in girlfriend. Damn, I'm jealous. What is it? Are you going to stay at home all alone? That's right. Uh... If you want, you can come over to my place. The three of us, including you, can spend New Year's together. No thanks, it's awkward. Okay. I'd rather be alone and shut up in my room than disturb a lovey-dovey couple's love nest on New Year's. I'm not an idiot that can't take a hint. Please, let a beautiful woman come to my room and spend the new year with me. What's wrong? Don't look at me with such pitying eyes. If I have a friend beside me making such a reckless wish, I want to pity him. I can't help it. My parents have been on vacation since the end of the year. My only friend has a girlfriend. And the only other person who can fill my loneliness is God. Oh God, I'm so lonely. I'm looking for a girl who is close to my age, lives close to me, and preferably has the same hobbies as me. Don't use the power of God like it's a dating app. <sighs> oh no, when I'm alone, I sigh without realizing. I want to go to sleep quickly, but I can't sleep at all. Partly because the cold air outside has brightened my eyes. I wish I had a pretty girlfriend too. If I had, the two of us would be happily eating New Year's Eve soba, watching New Year's TV shows, and enjoying a harmonious and happy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Oh no, imagining it makes me cry. Hmm? What? Who came to visit me at this hour? It's New Year's Eve, and even it's late night. Don't tell me some friend of mine took pity on me and came over with a girlfriend or something. Yes? Good evening. Huh? Hello. It's been a week since we met at the seminar, right? Well, it seems that God is really real. I know, but... Eh? Why are you here? I came here to make your wish come true. Huh? Moreover, the God seems to be more accurate than a dating app. Spend New Year's with me. Miko Mikami. The one who barged into my house was a friend from my college. And... It was the person I had a secret crush on. And that's why I am here because of your wish. Kano? No, you are confusing me. According to her, until just now, she had been working as a part-time shrine maiden at the shrine where I went to pay my first visit to the shrine. She was also secretly listening to my wish from the shadows. You said you want a beautiful woman come to visit you, didn't you? Yes. So, a beautiful woman came. You're crazy. Don't call yourself a beautiful woman. You are a beautiful woman, though. What is it? The point is that you came all the way home to make fun of your seminar friend who was making silly wishes at the beginning of the new year? No, no, it's not like that. But... I really wanted to make your wish come true. I never thought of making fun of you in the slightest. Are you sure about that? Yes. No way. It's ridiculous. Who would take that wish seriously and really act to make it come true? Aren't you happy? You should be happy because your wish came true. If I had to say, I'm a little happy, but... Anyway, I'm sure you've had enough of this. It's late at night. You should go home. I'm not going home. 
We're going to spend the new year together. What? Wait a minute. Are you going to stay? Yes, I'm staying here. What? Ah, oh, don't worry. I've prepared a sleepover kit. Are you out of your mind? We're not in a relationship. Yes, I know. Then why are you... <laughs> well, God can grant any wish. That doesn't make any sense. Now, what are we going to do? Do we stay up and watch TV until morning? Or do you want to go to bed and play with all your might tomorrow morning? I don't mind either way. Mikami... Hmm? Tell me honestly, what are you up to? Ugh. I can understand coming over to my house at the very least. But if she is going to stay the night, it's a different story. Indeed, that's what I hope for at the shrine. In fact, I would be happy if I could spend the new year with her. But it was too weak a motive for her to go that far. There must be some other reason. There must be some other reason for her to have come up with this out of the ordinary action. Actually... Yes. I didn't want to see my family's face. What? I live with them, so I don't want to go home. Did you guys get a fight or... Well, something like that. Okay, I see. So that's how it is. I guess it's not just a fight, judging from the way she talks and the atmosphere. If it's just a fight, it won't be enough to make people run away from home after the new year. I'm not going to ask about other people's family affairs, but... So I really want you to let me stay at your house. Of course, if I'm bothering you, I'll leave. You know, you're not bothering me. You were listening to my wishes. But are you okay with it? As I said before, we are not dating. We're just college friends. I'm fine. I mean, I don't want anyone but you. Huh? That means... You are kind and very trustworthy. If it was another guy, I'd be too scared. I see. So you mean I'm a harmless type of guy? I mean, she kind of likes me, but she doesn't see me as a man, right? Well, anyway, I understand if that's the case. You can stay at my place. Yay, thank you! And then, as I had wished to God, I was to spend my New Year's with a beautiful girl whom I have a crush on. But... I finished taking a shower. Oh, okay. Whoa! What? No, your clothes! I'm wearing clothes. You're wearing it, but... You have to wear it properly. What? Isn't it enough to wear something? It's not that. You're wearing too little. Oh, wow. You don't have a tolerance for girls, do you? Uh, I don't know if you're used to men or not, but you're a little too defenseless. <laughs> I don't. On the contrary, I'm not used to men. So I don't know what kind of clothes are normal. I'm the kind of guy who would wish such a thing on God. Naturally, as she says, I have no tolerance for girls. I've never been popular with girls. I've never been able to get a girl to go out with me, or to go on a date with me, or to have a sleepover with me. And that's just too difficult to overcome. Stop lying. Even if you're not used to it, you should at least be able to judge whether or not it would be embarrassing to show your skin to men. Hmm? You are so naive to be embarrassed by something like this. Damn! I knew you were teasing me! Because I made a wish like that! I didn't mean it that way. I'm so sorry. I'm with a girl I like, and all I can do is just sit there and be upset. To be honest, I'm already beginning to regret my decision to let her stay over. So, that's it. It seems that her guess of the harmless type was supremely correct. Anyway, I'm going to take a bath too. You should wear more clothes before I come back. Okay, okay. The outfit. Whether or not I'm embarrassed, of course I have such a thing. Next morning. Good morning. Good morning. What time is it? Seven o'clock. I'm going to sleep for three more hours. Why? We're going to spend the new year together, aren't we? Don't leave me alone. 
Stop it! Why do I have to get up so early even though it's a long-awaited break? Let me sleep a little longer. Nope. Time is finite. You have to make the most of the limited time you have. Come on, get up quickly. Let's eat ozoni together. Ozoni? Yes, I woke up early this morning and made it. Seriously? Yeah, for real. Yesterday, or rather today, I went to bed at 2 or something. Why she is so energetic? I appreciate it, though. How is it? It's yum! <laughs> right? If you can cook this well, you will be a good wife! Mikami? Oh, no! Thank you! Okay, let's decide what we're going to do after we're done eating. We don't have to make any plans. No, I'll schedule every minute and every second in detail. I won't allow any time to be wasted. What? I'm lazy. Don't say that! Come on, eat quickly! And then... Wow, it's freezing! Well, I think I'd rather stay in the heated room and get warm. Hey, it's forbidden to rely on civilized technology for today. The new year for me and her passed by in a busy manner, almost as if she was swaying around me along with her. You don't have to use such a thing. What? See? It's a little warmer this way, isn't it? What is it? What's wrong? You're making too much fun of me. What? You know, holding hands is unfair. Oh, you're so naive. Don't make fun of me anymore. Anyone would react like this if you suddenly held hand with them. I'm not sure how you can hold hands with a guy you're not in love with. If I'm not your girlfriend, there's no law that says I can't hold hands with you. That's true, but... Do you not like it when I do this? If you don't like it, I'll let go. If you don't mind, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Great! It is not only the schedule, but also the mentality. I was always pulled by her in such a way that she was always one step ahead. I never know if she is making fun of me or if she really likes me or not. The only thing that was clear was that my feelings of attraction towards her, which had already been there for a long time, had grown to a point where there was nothing I could do about it. Are you sleeping? Yes. Liar. What's the matter? If it's the floor, I won't give it up. <laughs> I already gave up on that on the second day. It has already been four days since she came to this house. She still shows no sign of wanting to go home. I'm sorry. Huh? It's a little late, but I'm sorry for bothering you by barging in like this. Don't worry about it. You came to grant my wish. Why are you apologizing? Oh, by the way, that's the way it was, wasn't it? Don't say that. I mean, when are you going home? It's not that I'm telling you to go back, but... I thought it was time to ask. It may have been a greedy wish. I thought I'm not going to dig into other people's family affairs. But I had fallen in love with her to the point where I couldn't hold up myself anymore. I thought that maybe I could help her solve her problems. If I could help, I would be happy. That's what I was hoping for when I asked her this question, but... Actually, I have to go on a matchmaking. Matchmaking? Yeah, my family is quite rich. My parents are very particular about whom I married. They always told me to get married when I turned 20. They said they would find me a good partner. I think he was thinking about my future. He didn't want me to be cheated by a strange person. For example, for his fortune and so on. My father used to say money changes people. If I am going to choose a partner, it has to be a sincere person who is not obsessed with money. Maybe that's why you ran away from home? Well, something like that. Hey. Hmm? If it's okay with me, is there anything I can help you with? You know, we could try to convince your father together. If there's anything I can do to help. No, I don't need it. But... Don't worry about it. It's nothing to do with you. The wish is vainly rejected. 
I assumed that maybe I could help her. I was overconfident. It's okay. It's been decided before. I've accepted this fate since I was little. It's just that I wanted to take a little detour. I'm sorry for saying it like this. It was rude of me to make it a detour with you. I'm leaving tomorrow. Thank you for having me stayed for so long. It's cold. There's no one here at this time of the night. I was working part-time as a shrine maiden and missed the first visit to the shrine. Maybe I'm a little late, but I hope God will forgive me. Please, if it comes true, may I marry the person I love? I know I'm being greedy. I thought that just spending the last four days together would have been enough, but... When we were together, I still feel like I wanted more and more. That's why, please, let me be with Shinji Kono. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. There's no way it's going to come true. I pushed him away myself. I didn't want to involve him in my family's affairs. But, well, it's fine. It's not going to come true anyway, so I can at least make a wish here. Hey. Huh? How come... Why you're here? I thought something was wrong because you left the house this late at night, so I followed you. Uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you. I just lost the timing to call out to you. So, you heard everything then? Well, yeah. I see. Where are you going? I'm going home! Why? Why? How can I stay with you after letting you hear my pathetic confession like that? Wait! Let go of me! No! Stop! I told you, I want to help you. It's none of your business. Yes, it is. What? Because I love you. I've had a crush on you for a long time. I'm so happy just to know that we're in love with each other now. It's no big deal to get involved in a family dispute. Really? Yes. I'm happy too, but... But... My father is really strict. I'm sure you would have bad feelings because of my father, so... I'm fine. Because you said so yourself. God will grant any wish, right? Oh my god. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Where's all that swagger you had that day? You were so cool. No, because, you know, I've never worn such a tight suit before. And it's also the first time I'm going to meet my girlfriend's parents. So, I don't know what to talk about. Do you want to quit? No, no, I won't. I would do anything for Miko. The line is cool, but your legs are shaking. Ouch! I'm sure you'll be fine. I know it's not for me to say, but I'm sure you'll manage. Please do your best, because you're my god.